Welcome to part 30 of Saints Row 2, and my least favorite stronghold of this all. This is Spackle Fishing Industries. Veteran Child took me here to stuff frozen fish with Loa dust on our first date. It was good times. Anyway, not a whole lot has changed since then, and the Somdi are still moving shit through fishing boats. Take out the fish in the freezers, then go blow up the boat they're using to move the stuff. Let me put it to you in the nicest way about this mission. You have to approach this mission with caution. First of all, you have to destroy the zombie statues. But as soon as you do, you will end up in zombie territory. See, it's not as bad in... Oh, god damn it! I set myself on fire. Anyway, it's not as bad in this playthrough because of the fact that I've already beaten the stage and I own the property, but before you own the property, guess what? It's gonna be swarming with zombie. So anyway, you're gonna have to shoot the fish. And be careful, there's gonna be guys carrying machetes. Sorry for that pause there, people. But <clears throat> you're gonna be swarmed with guards, and by the time you finish, oh, and make sure you destroy all the fish. Not just some, make sure you destroy all the fish. It won't count until you do. Anyway. You have like six of these to do, and it's your best bet to go to the... Excuse me. Right side, instead of the left side. If you went to the left side, well, you'll expose yourself more. It's best to deal with the left side because it'll be the side of less resistance. Honestly, I'm doing this without any backup because to me, backup seems a little bit in the way. See some of my recent parts of more details. But Baron Zombie. the back door of the the left side is the back door and I don't bring guys because it's harder for me but it's best that you guys would bring some sort of backup any sort of backup whether it be two goons or even call people that you unlocked through activities and some of the missions like Tobias for instance he'll be available by the time this mission is up anyway now that I've destroyed all the fish Remember, go to the right side, then go to the left, and destroy the fort. Uh, fish dashes at once. Now you gotta destroy four boats. Another thing, make sure you have a full set of rocket launchers. And make sure you also uh, have the Annihilator, or the rocket launcher, one of the two. But for the most part, you want to make sure you have the most powerful guns in your possession. And I want to make a little thing clear. Uh. Wait, no, wait. You get the submachine. No, oh, I was right. You get the submachine gun from uh, Snatch. I thought I was going to correct myself in the first part saying you get the shotgun from Snatch, but instead you do get the submachine gun. Anyway. You're gonna have to use your uh, rocket launcher to blow up the boat. And once you do, make a mad dash for the actual ship itself. And make sure you take cover too. This is where the checkpoint begins, and this is where the hell and damnation begins as well. By the time you finish. Yeah, no, you're not invincible, dude. By the time you actually get onto that ship. If the zombies own this territory, it would be swarming with them. It would be a level 5. Instead, it's just a level 3. So, this will make it easier on me. Basically, go in with dual uh, submachine guns with your best bet. And watch out for guys in the corner. That'll come a very big burden on me in the next couple of minutes. Because there's some guys that are also hiding in the corners. That you can't see. Where are you? Where is that son of a gun? The hell? They're shooting me through the goddamn. Oh! Fail to live up to your reputation. 
There's the guy. I don't know if they were shooting me through the wall or not, but I was having problems. Anyway, there is one last thing I want to mention. Once you set the bomb... Oh, I lost the game. Because, uh... A pop-up showed up on my game. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to run some virus scans on my computer before I do my recordings. And then wait till the, the virus scans are done, then do my recordings. Anyway, be careful with rocket launcher guys, because that's what they're gonna do, shoot rocket launchers. And I'm out of food. Jesus Christ. But the one thing about this mission that you need to worry about, aside from the guys coming out of nowhere, or coming out of the corners of the ship, trying to ambush you, um, you need to worry about planting the bomb. Because once you plant this bomb, you're going to have to make a mad dash off the ship. And just when you're about to get to exit off of the ship, the bomb will all of a sudden decrease time limit. It'll go from being two minutes and I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna blow up the corner and make sure there's nobody there. And there's nobody there. Good. Let's make sure. Ah, they're in here. That's where they were ambushing me from. And I messed up that last time. But this time I'm not. This mission can be a pain because, of course, Somni will try to block you from escaping. And like I said, as soon as you get to this part, you're going to have to make a dive and swim to safety. Whatever you do, for the love of God, don't press Y while you're swimming away from the boat. If you don't get out of the blast radius in time, which is that big red circle surrounding the boat, you'll be blown to hell. And like I said, that's what makes this mission so despicable and annoying. Because you're basically trying to fight off a lot of Somni. But nonetheless, this is the last Stronghold mission for the Somni. We're going to go on a regular storyline in Part 31. This is Army Man 95. Prepare for Pyrrhus' horrible singing in the next part. See you guys next time.